system of yeah. parenting for decades, oh. uh, according to the National Institutes of Health, is now on its head. Yeah, there you go. See if it works. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with the babies anyhow, yeah, so some other people can check it out. <laughs> uh, got a little bit of snow out there, light snow right now, Storm Tracker 6 live double scan showing that most of the steadier snow right now has been north and west of Philadelphia. This will begin to fill in as we head through the overnight hours into South Jersey. Little bit of a refresher course on the colors. Haven't done this for a while. The gray, the flurries, the brighter white, the steadier snow, the pink is the heaviest snow. You can see that we do have a band of that pink right over Florence, also heading towards Lansdale. And as we head out to Lancaster County, there's another area of some steadier snow, and this will be pushing up to the north and east, clipping Chester County and Berks County over the next hours. Temperature is certainly cold enough for snow right now. Philadelphia 30, Allentown 28, Trenton 29, Cape May 33, and Wilmington 30. Fortunately, a lot of lead time with the storm, so most of the main roads have been treated, so they're just wet. The side roads, the secondary streets, the sidewalks, really the major concern. Satellite 6, along with Action Radar, showing this system is really fast. It's booking to the east, that low pressure developing across the Carolinas. You can see that plume of moisture. This will continue to push to the north and east, and this will be clearing us out very quickly as we head towards dawn. So two o'clock, this is when we get really the steadiest snow south of Allentown all the way to the coast. By six o'clock, it's moving off the coast. Even the clouds breaking west of Philadelphia. The sunshine will return tomorrow, but the morning commute, the snow will not be falling from the sky. But again, some side streets, some Parking lots could be a little bit slick. You do want to allow extra time. The main roads, fortunately, will just be wet. Plenty of time for the roads to be treated with the system. Expected snow, again, not a major storm, kind of a nuisance event. North of Allentown, a coating to perhaps an inch. Most of our viewing area, one to three inches up to along the coast. Millville, areas in Kent County, a little bit less than that, a coating to an inch. What could be a bigger storm for parts of our viewing area, though, will come on Saturday. Yesterday, it looked like this coastal storm would be a complete miss. Now some of the models are backing a little bit more to the west, and that means clipping the coast. If that trend continues, it will be a bigger snow event. Right now, it's too early to call. Looks like coastal snow is likely on Saturday. Big question, will this be a nuisance event like tonight or a major storm with significant accumulation of snow? Right now, the models are in complete disagreement. Let's take this one at a time. New information comes in over Overnight and tomorrow of more details and action news tomorrow about Saturday. Regardless of the snow, it's going to be cold. So the exclusive accurate with their seven day forecast tomorrow, partly sunny, the high 35 weekend temperatures don't get out of the 20s. That snow along the coast Sunday, the winds kick up wind chills in the teens on Monday. The winds diminish. It's still cold, though, 29 degrees. Tuesday, finally, we climb out of the deep freeze, 38 with clouds. Wednesday, 52 degrees with rain and Thursday clouds mixing with sun with a high of 46 degrees. Of course, David Murphy will have the latest information on Saturday's snow event possible for the coast tomorrow on Action News beginning at 4. Thank you. Mm -hmm.